this video isn't going to be too long. You know, this is just an idea that came to me during meditation. You know, quick side note is that I've been meditating a lot more. And I've been meditating so much that I just can't read books anymore. At least at this current point in time. You know, it's just like reading someone else's ideas just seem like a waste of time. When I can just tap in and get a, a fresh thought, a fresh perspective on something that came from me. You see what I'm saying? And since tapping in like let me give you like my whole little routine real quick when i meditate i sit down at night i meditate i let all my thoughts for throughout the day worries fears whatever everything that made me happy sad whatever all the stuff that happened throughout the day i, I go through it in my head i observe it and i let it go eventually i get to like a point where it's like okay all my thoughts are gone i'm kind of like getting to like a super duper relaxed state when i get there my like, all right universe i'm ready let's get it you know give me an idea Sometimes I experience different things. Sometimes like my ears feel like they're like, you know, they get loud. That, that ring in my ears, it gets louder. Sometimes it feels like my body is like revving up to like get to that frequency. Um, more recently, I've been seeing like white flashes of light during meditation. But the, the coolest one that's been happening in the last couple of weeks is like I'm starting to hear my own voice give me ideas. You know, very subtle. It's, it's, it's almost like in the back of your head, not like in your ears, but like in the back of the head. And I can hear my voice coming from back there. I'm like, okay, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. And usually I present it to y'all in these videos. But the idea that came to me was that everything is backwards. And, and of course, I, I touched on this many, many a times. And I, I will continue to talk about how backwards our world is. But, you know, one of the ideas is like we expect the world to give to us. You know what I'm saying? When we should be giving to the world. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I went to this school, I know these people, I made these connections, I have this much money, I have blah, 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 blah. And they expect the world to give them something like they like, like we're not the infinite ones already. You are already infinite. In your mind, you can think of anything. You are supposed to take all that infinite stuff in your mind and you're supposed to bring it to this world. A lot of people say, oh, it's such a cold, cold world and blah, blah, blah. Oh, this world is so dark and evil, blah, blah, blah. Well, how about you bring some light to it? You see what I'm saying? You are missing the whole step over here. You're looking at step two and step three. Step one is the one you started off with. So you thought you could only go that way, but you're supposed to go that way. And then do it like a whole little loop back to the world. We are supposed to connect with the universe. This is where we get our gifts from. You know, some people have the gift of speech which is like, I guess what I do with this channel, but some people have the gift of cooking, the, the gift of healing, the gift of blah, 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 whatever your gift is. Ask the universe, how, how can I share my gift more? Like if you're an athlete, you know what I'm saying? Do something that inspires people through your physical prowess. If you are a chef, cook the best meals or learn how to like mass produce a whole bunch of food so a bunch of people can eat and it tastes good. You see what I'm saying? And don't do it for just money. Get the satisfaction of you like, oh man, I know I'm doing a real good service. I'm utilizing my position in the grand scheme of things. I'm the middleman. That's all we are supposed to be is the middleman between the universe and the world. Why do you want the world that in some cases, some people call the world finite? Why would you want a finite thing to give to the infinite? That's kind of like you helping God with your manifestations. Hey God, um, I'm just going to open this and um, if you want to... You know, I'm just going to try to make it easier for you. No, everything in your mind is already infinite. Why do you want the world to give to you? You already have everything. Since you are the one that has everything, you're supposed to give to the world. You see what I'm saying? We all have talents. We all have skills. We all have gifts. If you need guidance, ask the God, ask source, ask the universe. What are my gifts? How do I spread my gifts to the world? Once you're doing what you love, once you have your purpose, your passion, you will understand that you no longer need anything from the world because you're going to see that the world needs you. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I'm here to wake up in all of y'all. I hope that made sense to some of y'all. I hope that resonated with some of y'all. Till the next one.